Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 6 tonight. Our top story, some new developments this evening out of Utah County. The man accused of killing two people in a fit of road rage earlier this year in court today for a preliminary hearing. It marks the first time the families of the victims are meeting the accused suspect, Peterson Drew Matheson. We showed you in our Road Rage Town Hall how the impact road rage has had on Utahns everywhere. Tonight, we're taking a deeper dive on the impact and what action is being taken. On June 4th, witnesses say Matheson in a pickup truck and had driven in a car were caught up in a road rage incident. The other driver wouldn't let Matheson pass. Two people in a Porsche not involved, Rodney Salm and Misha Himmelberger, were killed. Yeah, we have team coverage for you tonight on all of this. Following today's hearing, KUTV's Amanda Gilbert looking into what happens next in the case. And Jake Taylor digging into Matheson's past and if there are any previous incidents involving law enforcement. We want to start, though, with KUTV's Ariel Harrison, who was at that hearing today and has reaction from witnesses and family members. That's right. The judge ended today's hearing by instructing both attorneys to make sure they summarize their cases and get that into him. Today, he heard evidence, received it, and also witness accounts, different statements that had summoned the courtroom today in tears. Just some of the descriptions, the detective, the gentleman who was the uh, medic. Moving witness accounts, drawing out raw motion in the courtroom today. It's kind of hard to see. Peter Salm is the older brother of Rodney Salm, one of the victims killed in the Eagle Mountain road rage. As soon as I came to a stop, I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw the, the damage done to the Porsche. Witness Jod Booker was first to take the stand. He was driving behind Rodney and Misha that day. He saw the crash and hit debris in the road, but says his EMT training kicked into gear. So I approached the driver first. I checked his radio pulse. I didn't get a radio pulse. After checking both victims, he also checked the driver of the truck who hit them. I checked his pulse. I made sure there was no active bleeding. A second witness, Lincoln Crowley, had a dash cam that caught part of the road rage. And they're coming towards your vehicle, correct? Correct. And then they pass your vehicle? Correct. And I watched in my passenger mirror and then watched in my rear view mirror. And a third driver testified that he saw it all play out in his rear view mirror. Matheson attempting to pass a Nissan and getting cut off. It was obvious things were escalating and then the, um, I, I can't say for sure who initiated it, but the vehicles did um, collide into each other. Adam Knott said that happened at least twice before the truck lost control and hit the Porsche. I'm uh, standing on the opposite side of the road from the, the Porsche, the, from from the accident, the front and the back ends of the car were smashed in and the the roof was gone and the the driver's side door was gone. A perspective that brought Rodney's family to tears. The Kia driver talking about coming back and looking at the accident scene and he kind of got emotional about it and so did I, you know, it's kind of hard to see. The victims and defendants families were in the court courtroom today, all visibly emotional. I briefly spoke with someone connected to the Matheson family. They shared with me that they are just completely heartbroken over what's happened. Rodney's brother, Peter, does say that he feels they're victims in this as well. We will continue to update people as we receive updates from the court as to whether the judge decides this will move to trial. Reporting in Utah County, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.